How is it going guys? Drew Peacock here back with another video and let me show you what's been cooking up for what's almost been a full year. Let me show you guys. Okay, so let me give some backstory on where this car has been. If you don't remember, I blew up the three valve that was underneath the hood just about a year ago. And if I think a few days or a few weeks, it will have been one full year since I have blown up the three valve. That being said, that previous setup was an F1A Pro Charger on a built three valve, supposedly capable of holding 1200 horsepower. It blew around 770. I snapped the forged crank donezo okay so then i had the wild idea to twin turbo a three valve i was actually going to do a head swap too to make it a four valve but instead of doing all that bullshit, i think i did something that is way way cooler so let me show you what's underneath the hood and what's been cooking for about a year now. What I decided to do was say fuck the three valve platform. Even though they can make a decent power, it takes a lot of money to build a three valve. And at the end of the day, why build a three valve when you can just go ahead and toss a Gen 3 Coyote in the car with a three liter Whipple supercharger just mounted perfectly right on top. That is what's been cooking inside the three valve it is no longer a three valve so i got to think of what, something else to call it okay i don't want to call it a name i'm not a huge fan of doing stuff like that so i got to think of something because this this is pretty fucking wild right here and to my knowledge i don't know if anyone has tossed a three valve in an earlier s197 yet i'm pretty sure it was my tuner's first time because there were issues which is why it was taking so long it's not necessarily their fault it's just a kind of misinformation and like it's not really been done too many times before so there's not really a direct you know layout on how to do it there's things that you're going to find out as you do it and so there were just a lot of little things that popped up which i'll talk about but right now like i said this this is where she's been a lot of you have been asking on my instagram where's the mustang you forgot about the mustang drew don't forget about your roots oh i didn't forget about my roots okay i was just dumping a whole lot of money in my roots to make sure when she came back she came back better than ever now i know a lot of you probably want to hear horsepower numbers and all that but i'm not going to reveal that just yet i shot for a goal and it made way more than my goal so it is right now my fastest car on a dyno I don't know how it's gonna handle in the street okay I know you guys saw the tire setup that I had and everything and it's a great tire setup but ESR and I have been working together and we got something great coming I'm gonna be picking them up later this week you're gonna see and I know you guys aren't gonna be disappointed that being said as of right now this is my fastest car I have to see how it does against the super when the super gets a new turbo how it does against the McLaren but this thing outperforms both of them on a dyno by a whole lot well that was kind of awkward I was recording and a kind young lady was walking down the street trying to sell something and uh, she pretty much listened to me record probably for the last like three minutes and she was waiting for me to stop really awkward I get really self-conscious when people are listening to me record so I stopped for a minute but anyways um, we are gonna go drive the car in a minute but I kind of want to explain a couple things about it one it has no gauges at the moment one of the hard things that they were trying to figure out was how to get the tachometer to read he usually does gen 2 swaps he had not done a gen 3 yet I think in one of these platforms so for some reason the message that he was doing with his gen 2 swaps wasn't transferring over to the swap it's a pretty easy fix I just got to order up an OBD2 display and it'll just plug right in and I'll have a nice display of my tachometer my cooling gauge everything I need to see that the OBD2 will read I'll be able to see so that's really easy to fix not a huge issue the only other major issue that the car had at the time of pickup was the clutch wasn't fully disengaging and I wasn't able to like put it in gear it was really weird the car had been sitting for quite some time and this this was an up-and-coming issue that was happening before I dropped off the car 
and it just got worse from sitting it seemed like so thank god rob from sideways performance came through and let me borrow his lift at his shop this morning that's why i'm really dirty i actually just got done dropping the trans pulling out the release bearing putting it all back together making sure everything is nice and tidy rob saved my life this video wouldn't be made without rob right now and brian as well so go follow their youtubes and their instagrams down below but anyways those two issues one of them's already resolved i just got to order up a screen and then this car is pretty much ready to go have fun in mexico so anyways i know you guys want to see and hear how this car performs so once my girlfriend arrives we'll hop in we'll go for a little spin around the block you know open her up a little bit i don't want to push her too hard i don't have a tachometer i can't redline obviously but that red line is nice and high something that i won't be used to coming from a three valve so once she gets here we'll go out and we will have some fun speak of the devil look who just pulled up damn with the new wrap and everything sheesh i honestly hate when people say sheesh i say it ironically because i don't like that word but anyways look at that fucking wrap damn i don't know what you guys like more what do you guys think the mossy green or the vista blue with the gray stripes oh my god that shit that shit does look fucking nice and clean though are you ready are you ready what? to go on a little fun drive? Come on, are you ready? <laughs> Come on, get out. I know you're scared. Come on. Okay, so you haven't really rode in the car more than just like me picking you up really quick because I had to fix the clutch. So are you excited? Why are you covering your face? Are you shy? She's shy. All right, well, we're going to go for a ride. She's going to manhandle the camera. Can you have my pony badge? No, it's mine. Anyway, you got my fog lights because they don't fit no more, but let's go. Let's go have some fun.
like slotted rotors and upgraded pads, but yeah, no, they're the stock two piston fucking brakes. Like, no bueno. But they work mighty fine. After a very fun drive we made it back the car is just performing amazing so far i do want to get a couple things for it i want an oil cooler i want to make sure that i get a nice obd2 screen so we're gonna have to see i want something a little bit budget friendly so that way one i'm not wasting all my money on this car still and two that way if you guys are in need of something like this i can get a product you know make sure it's a good product and then you guys if needed can go get one as well but anyways later on we're gonna go cruise we're gonna go have some fun my buddy brian uh, the guy that helped me with the trans earlier no lift shift check out his youtube he's gonna bring his mustang um alma my girlfriend is going to be driving hers so we're gonna go cruise around maybe find a couple cars to mess around with on the freeway and i'll get to test out this car a little bit more i haven't done too much but it's just because it's not hooking and like i've mentioned a few times before i'm really hyped for it so that's why i keep repeating myself esr and i oh we got something cooking and it's just about done so i'll be getting them this week and you guys oh it's it's, it's gonna be great anyways i'm gonna relax for a bit it is really hot i've been up all day working on the car making sure i can get this video to you guys so i hope you guys do appreciate that but once it gets dark and once we start cruising i will get back to this Lastly, we're gonna finish off this video with a little bit of racing. Yeah, I know, who would race a car with no gauges? An idiot, and I'm that idiot. Obviously, I don't know when to shift, so I was just kind of getting a feel for the car. The, the car had zero traction, so I had to pedal it the whole time. So just enjoy me racing this full bolt-on E40 N54. I heard two different horsepower numbers from two different people. One person said 400-ish plus, one person said 600-ish plus. I don't know, either way, I mean, just whatever. It was just testing out the car, take a look.
overall fun races. We didn't learn too much. It wasn't like it was a super even match. I just more or less wanted to see how my car would perform at night. And it turns out I need a new tire setup. So keep your eye out for that video coming soon. Anyways, hope you did enjoy this video. Let me know what should we call this project. Let me know down in the comments down below. Subscribe to see more videos of this car and my other cars. And until next video, peace.